the story wow. I told in the last show, if, not, if neither of you have heard it, is um, you know I wouldn't pay attention in like seventh grade math class. I had drawings that I wanted to do. Drawing was awesome. Math sucked. You were you know? a doodler, huh? I was not. No, 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 no. I was not a doodler. Oh, these I were was, epic drawings. I was a goddamn architect. This is an art, <laughs> architect. <laughs> You're building society. I was. I was. I was doing cityscapes. Like, I was doing like landscape. Oh, I had learned like vanishing point drawings and stuff. Uh -huh, so I was yeah. doing like architect, like buildings and stadiums and landscape architecture. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was serious. And when and when teachers would come and just they just grab stuff off your desk. Like, I remember in seventh grade, like in the middle of just this epic. I don't remember what it was, but I remember two pieces of paper had been taped together. Uh -huh. And she just came off my desk and grabbed it and ripped it up right in front, or just scrunched it up right in front of me. And I was like, what the fuck? It was like four, that was like four hours of my time and just yeah. gone like and that. And if you'd have done that to her work that she was doing, mm. what do you think the yeah. punishment would have different. been? Different. Right? Different, totally different. Different than just me sitting there feeling embarrassed. So why is it in the schooling context that your dignity as a student yeah means less than or you don't ha you have less dignity than the teachers or and the that's completely normalized it's the, completely normalized yeah it's not so even a question why is it that that students and teachers don't have equal dignity in that system well I, it's, it's, how it's was designed it's how it was designed yeah. yeah i mean it's based on distrust in the learning process yeah. for people to do it on their own so professionals that to teach you how to do things and you better stay on task which you weren't so you're going to get punished and your property is not valuable yeah and it doesn't mean that there was never a time where a teacher would pull you aside or a parent outside of school would take an active interest in saying what's going on yeah you to know? really try to connect I think we all remember like that happening but we logged you know like I said before 12 years in in that though in those relationships in in that in in those sets of expectations right but how many memories like that do i have i have zero <laughs> really before college yeah wow like i mean uh, uh, it was a little a little bit uh before you guys but yeah this uh, you know to talk about hey how are you feeling about this never mm. you know it's you know you're you, sh you could be doing better or, or worse than this yeah but you know, to to have someone, you know, actually be curious about how I'm feeling about something. Yeah, that happened in college when I, um, I I had to take a business writing class. I still remember this teacher. She came up to me. She goes, "You know, you're a really good writer, but you're not really applying yourself here. And how are you feeling about when you write?" And she, you know, really, I was shocked. I I could still remember how shocked I was that she actually asked about my emotions. Yeah. College. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I don't how about you? Do you No, I, I agree with Rosenberg. Like he says I went to school for twelve years, no one ever asked me what I was feeling. Yeah. You know, and that's kind of the MO of the system. Like once it starts peeling that onion, then you're gonna see all the discontent, the frustration, the disappointment, you know. The rage. Oh my goodness. At being controlled all the time. Yeah. You know? Yeah, you're you're kind of chipping away at a wall that's holding a lot back. Yes. When you start asking questions like that as an adult.